Good morning. Today we woke up at 5 in the morning because we had to take one of my husband's friends to the airport. So I decided why not start September with a morning routine. After we dropped off his friend, the first thing Henry wanted to do was get some Waffle House and have breakfast. Oh my god. What? I love Waffle House so much. Let's go hurry up. Okay. Honestly, at this point, I was regretting my life decisions because I was so tired and I was starving. But then I saw the sunrise starting to come up and I realized I should probably get up earlier every day. Guys, I woke up at 5 in the morning as you guys saw my little clip right there and then I freaking fell asleep. I fell asleep for two hours with Henry because he told me to just lay down for a bit since he's on nights, you know. So I laid down for a bit and that bit turned into like a two and a half hour nap, you know. So that's gone. Productive plan to the trash. But at least we tried and we got up. Right now I look like a mess. I'm going to the gym right now. I'm gonna go to the actual gym, work out at the gym because I was like, I can't pay for a freaking... Well, Henry's paying for it. Love my husband, but I can't be paying for a freaking... What are they called? For a gym membership, right? And never go. I literally, like I used to always do 12 3 30 like every single day before the wedding because i was on my fitness journey girl and i'm ready to get back get snatched i'm not gonna get freaking lose weight after all the training i did before the wedding it's only been three months after the wedding so obviously i gained a little you know a little fluffiness in all the wrong spots but it don't matter so i'm about to snatch back september is like i'm coming for you because i need to get my body back i can't just let myself go you know just because you're married and like a housewife whatever doesn't mean you gotta gain weight or whatever so i'm trying to be in my fitness journey so yeah let's go to the gym right now because I literally cannot. I have to get back. It's already 1 p.m. and I have to still pack Henry's lunch. Not pack, make Henry's lunch. I'll make some chicken today. Chicken and rice. He's working a full day. So I have to pack that boy like three lunches because you know he's there for like 16 hours. So he leaves around 3 p.m. One hour at the gym. Get back at two cook and then shower. And I think we can make it work. You know, I thought if I don't leave right now, I'm never gonna leave. So yeah. Also, there was a hurricane yesterday, like a hurricane warning. So I don't know if you can see all those little branches. Thank God we're all right. Everything is fine. The hurricane literally just passed us and didn't actually affect us. So I'm really happy about that. There was just a lot of wind. And as you guys have seen in my vlogs, the trees here are really tall. So the wind made like some branches fall out and stuff, but no one was harmed. Everything was fine, at least where I'm at. I know Florida actually like flooded. Just really grateful. Hurricane passed yesterday and we are all alive and well. But now let's go to the gym and let's get that hot mama body. You know what I'm saying? Well, the hot girl body because I'm not a mom, you know what I'm saying?
the pieces that look done to me and I'm gonna put these back in for about five more minutes and then it should be ready. This is how the rice came out. It looks so good. Now they look way more done. Like the fastest meal I've ever cooked. And it still took me like 30 minutes, but whatever. I'm done packing his meal and I wanted to pack his big water bottle because he takes this big water bottle for, uh, for work. He tries to drink this whole thing, so I'm gonna refill it or like the little bit that he drank. After I'm gonna shower, well, I'm gonna eat what I made, the chicken and the rice. And then I'm gonna shower and get ready for the day. I swear buying this battery charger has been literally the best decision I've made. Guys, this chicken that I made, oh my God. Probably my best chicken yet. It's so good. it's way later in the day i already showered and stuff so i just wanted to talk to y'all about the gym because i never got the chance i got home and i literally rushed to make henry some lunch i like loved the gym right now i'm exhausted because i did wake up at five in the morning although i took a two-hour nap after that i'm really tired because obviously you know first day at the gym and like my body trying to like get back on track but i really liked it i don't know i mean i i loved actually working out i loved the treadmill the treadmill sometimes i do 12 through 30 and sometimes it kills me sometimes i can barely do it and today you know i was tired by the end of it but i felt so good like actually doing it and then i actually did mad fit again i'll link the video that i did down below i did a 20 minute weight workout and it just felt so good because i didn't have time i knew i had to rush so i didn't have time to like create a workout or like make a little plan so i just followed her video i went to like the little part in the gym where you can like just grab weights in a mat and it felt so good actually like do weights because you guys know i've been doing like henry's water bottle here, here at home i don't know something about going to the gym actually felt good like i think i kind of understand what people say when it's the gym is my space i don't know what i mean it's my first day back so we'll see literally the goal is to actually go in september like i must utilize my freaking membership and then also like i want to get skinny and like not skinny like fit you know so how am i gonna do that if i don't go to the gym i don't know but i'm glad that my first day back was actually good i was scared of not liking it i don't know or like regretting going but i'm really happy and then i also wanted to talk to y'all about the fact that i just didn't care anymore so i always get so nervous because i'm like you know what are people gonna say or like what if i look dumb like me following a video like i don't know why people are gonna look at me and then today i actually my mother-in-law helped me with that because she was like who cares like you're young you look good like who cares what people say you know and i was like you're so right so i literally went to the gym and like just didn't care what people say because at the end of the day who cares like <laughs> if they do say something like is it gonna affect me no like literally it has no effect on me so i just didn't care i went and did my thing i mean people will stare at you but you also stare at people like when you go to the gym it's kind of normal to like look at a person especially like they look like your vibe like i've seen like two girls that i think i could be friends with so obviously i don't stare at them but i do like look at them and i feel them like look at me randomly but that's just normal like you're at a gym working out i don't know i feel like it's normal to like do a little peek you know i mean if someone's like hard on staring at you then i don't know what to do but i don't know i just like figured i shouldn't really care where's my eyeliner moral of the story is like literally don't care what people say at the gym because who cares as long as you get your results go to the gym and be happy that's all that matters and that's what i'm figuring out right now it felt so good to actually do my workout somewhere else and then come home you know it just felt i don't know like a peace of mind i'm not saying i'll go to the gym every single day you know because i don't i honestly don't know if i will do that but at least it's like a little outlet to go somewhere and like spend some time working on yourself and i don't know something about actually doing physical work made me feel good like my home at home workouts i usually burn like around 150 calories 120 calories you know because i have my little apple watch but at the gym i literally did one hour and i did like 500 calories and it didn't even feel like that much i guess because you're like in the gym environment so it's kind of 
obviously everyone's working out so it's a lot easier to just get carried away and work out a little more if you have to i don't know i'm gonna finish my makeup now i just wanted to let y'all know that i actually really enjoyed it so if you've been thinking about going to the gym but you're nervous you're nervous or you're scared or you know anything like that just remember like who cares like literally who cares if you see someone there like if they see you you go to the gym to work on yourself not to freaking spot people so just go to the gym do your thing do your 12 through 30 and a little weight se section if you don't know how to do weights then you know just do be like me just get a video from youtube and follow it because literally who cares so yeah let's finish our makeup now You guys already know I absolutely love planning my months. It's one of my favorite things. And as I've talked in my vlogs before, I've been managing between planning a lot and actually living life spontaneously. So I still do my plan of the month. I still do what goals I have because I believe it's very important to set out your goals, especially at the beginning of a new season, because if not, you can kind of get lost in the track of life. However, what I did differently this time is that I planned everything that I have to get done, everything that I want to get done, but I also incorporated time for moments in life where I can just do anything creative moments so I literally wrote down you know my YouTube schedule my gym schedule work schedule and from there I scheduled in little time frames where I can do just whatever I want and I also in my mind understand that this can be moved around it's not a set schedule it's just what I'm aiming for and it allows me to keep my goals in mind but also I'm just giving myself so much more time to just allow myself to do other things anything can change in life Thank you so much for spending a day with me. I'm honestly, it's barely 8 p.m. and I'm exhausted. I'm like so tired. So I think I'm just gonna go read my book upstairs. Um, if you haven't seen my last vlog, I talk about this new book. It's called It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, I think that's her name. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go upstairs, read that book, and take the dogs upstairs with me and literally just relax and go to bed because I'm exhausted i still have dishes to clean but all that will be done for tomorrow for today i am done i'm ready to take my makeup off change into my comfy clothes and just give it a good night